Gibbs and Cox offers Australian light frigate design for the Royal Australian Navy. Gibbs and Cox, a Lidos company, unveiled their Australian light frigate, Osulf, designed for the Royal Australian Navy for Tier 2 requirement during Indo-Pacific 2023. The Australian light frigate is based on the Taiwanese Navy's new light frigate designs that draw heavily on the design heritage of the U.S. Navy's Freedom Class Littoral Combat Ship, LCS, design in which Gibbs and Cox are involved. This video portrays the U.S. Navy's Freedom Class warship as Gibbs and Cox have yet to bring the ship's final design to the Royal Australian Navy, RAN. The roughly 3,500 tons frigate is 85 meters long and has a 13.1 meters beam. Australian Light Frigate is a general-purpose frigate with strong performance across coastal patrol, medium-range air defense, anti-surface warfare, and underwater domains. The Australian Light Frigate features a similar combined diesel-electric and gas power and propulsion system. The GELM 2500 Propulsion Solution offers 30-knot performance combined with electric drive for quiet-state ASW patrol and cruise efficiency. Unlike the reference Taiwanese design, which has 16 MK41 vertical launching system, VLS, cells and a main gun, the Australian light frigate emits the gun and instead uses the space to house 16 additional VLS cells for a total of 32 cells. These are split 50-50 between tactical and strike length cells for a total of 16 of each type. The lightweight frigate features 76mm main gun, triple torpedo launchers, and remote weapon system to control two 30mm cannons spread around the ship. Strike length cells are unique in handling the largest missiles compatible with the MK 41 VLS, including the BGM 109 Tomahawk long range cruise missile Australia is also acquiring. In addition to its hefty VLS payload, the Australian Light Frigate is also equipped with 24 Naval Strike Missiles, NSM, mounted amidships in box launchers. Above the hangar, which is able to handle a single MH 60 or Romeo helicopter, there is space for either a Phalanx close in weapon systems or C. RAM. At this stage, the design hasn't progressed to the point of deciding on a combat management system. However, should the Royal Australian Navy select the design, it would likely be fitted with some combination of Saab 9LV and the Aegis combat system. A Gibbs and Cox spokesperson told Global Defence Corp that the strength of their bid was its ability to deliver serious combat power in an affordable Anzac class frigate sized hull. Thanks for watching. Thanks for visiting this YouTube channel. Visit GlobalDefenseCorp.com. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and TikTok.